U of M is so intentional about growing their research in every aspect. As a research administrator, while you're not doing the research, you're enabling them to make that dream a reality. It's my job to help our faculty members get the funding they need to support their research projects. That helps them fund students, the supplies they need, the equipment they need so they can carry out the research. You're kind of on the forefront of seeing these technologies that you know, a lot of them are going to blossom, you know, and become something more widespread. It makes you feel really good at the end of the day to know you're some small part of the development of something that will go on to help people. Hi, I'm Tia, and I am the research administrator for M-City. Prior to this, I was a teacher. I taught elementary school, and for me, I just felt like it was time for a change. That's why I thought if I move to a place like U of M, there's a lot of opportunity for growth, there's a lot of opportunity for development. And what I love is just being part of a community, especially at M City, I've found where everyone is just so positive about the work we're doing and just so here for all of the right reasons to further better things for society. I'm just excited to be a part of it, even in the admin space, because the research here pushes the envelope on autonomous vehicles and autonomous vehicle safety. You hear chemical engineering, you think chemicals, but the amount of different things they do here is like so varied. Being that aviation is my background and my passion, and it's really, really cool to kind of see some of these technologies that they're in, in the midst of developing. I'm Zach Staley, I'm a, re I'm a research administrator in the Aerospace Engineering Department in the College of Engineering. A typical work day for me is, you know, open up my emails, check my emails, see if there's any urgent items, and if there's not, you know, I'll review some financials for my, some of my PI projects, see if any projects are ending soon, I'll see if there's any travel reports that need to be uh, reviewed and, and approved for travel expenses. I'll usually go up and talk to the faculty and prompt them to kind of come to me if they need anything. We meet a lot of great people. I mean, I manage faculty who are from all corners of the earth and they all have different experiences, they all have different thoughts and and it's just, it's great, you know, just talking to them. I can't say enough about how much I love this department, how much I love the faculty I work with, how much I love the other staff. I don't Thing I've ever been in a job where I felt so supported. My name is Davina Barron. I'm a research administrator for the chemical engineering department. University of Michigan has been a super supportive employer. I've been here almost 20 years in various different roles. Student, staff, faculty, everyone who works here, we're, all, we're working, you know, to the betterment of something. It's good to work in a place that makes you feel like you're making a difference because you know I'm reviewing documents I'm submitting them to online systems you don't have to physically be there for the type of work you're doing it's great because I have the flexibility to be at home but I'm also getting out of the house too as a woman and a mother being completely remote has been super amazing for me and very de-stressing so I do love really love that part of this job there's so many moments to feel accomplished and to celebrate. Even small things along the way, like making a budget all fit how you need it to, thinking about bringing together a multi-million dollar project with various people and lots of things you need to gather all together. You know, we do deal with deadlines and, and sometimes we deal with sponsors who are very demanding with what they want and when they want it. So you gotta have pretty decent stress management. I'm one of those people who has like a very like organized brain. I like things with steps to them. And that's kind of what I liked about research administration is no matter what you do, there's always gonna be something different about every proposal because of the science portion of it. But the, the rest of it, there's kind of very similar steps and that kind of appealed to me is that there was some order to the chaos that's going on in there. When you're in the trenches, you're get, making sure everything is ready for a sponsor. You're going towards uh, your deadline and then you, you're, you hit submit. It's like your heart skips a beat and then you're, you know, with whoever we're with submitting and it's like, we did it. Even if we don't get awarded, it makes me really happy to get it completed and sent. But when they, it, they get awarded, it's, I mean, it brings me a lot of joy they got awarded because I know that means that that's another student they can fund. 
that's really when the work begins, but it's that initial celebration of, I was part of something that beat out all these other proposals. Like they chose us because they thought this research was the most imperative at the time. I, I love being able to make that compelling case. At U of M specifically, I think the research community is going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to innovate. We're going to continue to do amazing things. We're getting more funding in. We're hiring more personnel on projects. There's more travel involved. And what that means is the need for my position, a research administrator, is growing as well. You know, I never thought I could say this, but I love my job. I never thought I'd say that, you know, but I can, and I can say it truthfully. It makes me feel really good when they discover something. It's like, well, I helped get you the funding that made, made that happen, so. I just want to come in to do the best I can do that day, so that way we can further it just a little bit more, like, and just a little bit closer to the finish line. And just seeing that progress is really exciting.